KFSR at CMAC present the Central Valley Ledger, a public affairs program featuring stories from all over the Central Valley with Sevag Tetiosian, 90.7 KFSR. Welcome to the beautiful CMAC studios in downtown Fresno. Today we're going to be talking about something that has been in the news lately, the William Soroyan House. We have Avak and Professor Barlow Dermogerdichian from Fresno State. Welcome, you two. Thank you, welcome. Thank you. Professor Dermogerdichia, welcome back. You've been yes. a guest several times yes. on the program before. It's exciting to be here to talk about the William Soroyan House Museum. So, and first of all, this is a great thing that's happening for Fresno is William Soroyan's house is being turned into a museum. But before we get there, I want to introduce our audience members to Avak. Avak Simonian? Yes. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm from Armenia. I live in Armenia. Uh, I born in Yegwart City. It's, it's near the Yerevan. And Yerevan is the capital. Yerevan is the capital of Armenia. I'm Armenian. Uh, I do my uh, most of my projects in Armenia. It is my first project abroad of Armenia. So, how did you get involved in the Soroyan House in Fresno? Because it's a rare opportunity. It's a good opportunity, but rare. Uh, I think I should uh, tell the beginning of this project because we started in 2016. Uh, our foundation is called the Renaissance Culture and Intellectual Foundation. I'm deputy director of that foundation. Uh, and foundation uh, founded by Arthur Johnny Bekian. Uh, it founded in 2012, mm -hmm. uh, and when we started uh, our projects, we did different uh, projects in different spheres. We did uh, uh, non-profit projects, most of them was non-profit projects, and we did uh, investment and donations also in Armenian Wikipedia, in Khan Academy, in different projects. We, uh, for, we did project armenianmusic.am, which is uh, portal where, where we collect different types of Armenian old folk music with one space and it is free for everyone. You can download the application and you can use it for free. And then when uh, Mr. Arthur Johnny Bekian uh, decided to buy this house, uh, it was in 2015, in the end of 2015, when he decided to buy the house, uh, we, uh, we, it means our team, our main team, we are uh, eight friends uh, who are doing these all projects together. Uh, and uh, he talked with us and he, uh, he tell us that uh, we need to buy this house and uh, he will do all donations for it. And we decided and we bought the house during just a few weeks. Uh, it was some kind of late because somebody from here, uh, some real estate agent already bought the house. Yeah, 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 we heard on the news. Yeah, and he resold, and, uh, and we bought from uh, his. Uh, and then, we in 2016, we announced about uh, this museum project, about Sauron House project. And uh, our uh, main team decided to uh, choose one of us to manage this project. And it was my chance Congratulations. to Congratulations. Well, welcome much. to Fresno. Uh, you, it's your fifth time here, you said. Yeah, it's my fifth time, but all these five visits was during this project. So, why do you think your organization bought this house? What is it about? Had you heard about Soroyan? Tell us about that. Sure, uh, Soroyan is a very famous person, I think, and his uh, personality is uh, international personality, I think so because he's famous not only in Armenia and uh, not only in the US. He's famous, I think, in different countries. And uh, in Armenia, we know Sauron very well because uh, his books in our school's uh, curriculum, uh, the children can uh, read Sauron, they uh, learn Sauron. And also, we have Monument of Sauron in the mm -hmm. center of Yerevan. Mm -hmm. It is very central place, and they will be it. And as we know, Saron is Armenian. Uh, he is uh, American Armenian, and uh, yes, he wrote everything in English, but uh, he was Armenian. And uh, as we heard about the selling, uh, about that uh, they will sell uh, Saron's house, 
and it is uh, and our founder decided to buy it and uh, after that when we start this project uh, it was very big responsibility for us as uh, we understand that it is very famous person and it is very hard to do house museum in Fresno from Armenia and uh, in a neighborhood in the n but, neighborhood yes but you know thank you to the city also for finally allowing it because you yeah. know, that could have been a challenging process. It was a very big challenge for us because uh, to do project, to run project from Armenia, to run project first time in US and uh, in the neighborhood, it was very hard. Actually, we uh, was discussing that uh, problem with city more than one year and uh, finally we got a uh, COP conditional use permit mm -hmm. this year, in the beginning of this year. Uh, and it was very hard. So how Fresno State is involved, Professor Derma Gurdichin, how did you get involved with this organization that's all the way in Armenia that decides to buy the Soroyan house? Well, I got in after the actual purchase of the home when uh, the team first began to send people to Fresno. Uh, they were interviewing people and talking to people that had known Soroyan and known about him. And of course, uh, they heard about the Armenian Studies program because we have a large archive of Saroyan uh, materials, including books, uh, drawings, and other kinds of things. And so uh, when I first met Avak, uh, actually, we had a chance to uh, talk. And then uh, the designer of the interior of the museum also came to Fresno at Fresno State for a couple of weeks. And then when I was visiting in Armenia, I also had a chance to, to, to uh, talk with them. And so uh, they asked me the, the uh, Renaissance uh, Cultural Intellectual Foundation Soroyan Project asked me to join the board of the Soroyan House Project, so I was able to uh, join the project and uh, helping Avak in whatever way that I can in order to really uh, achieve this, uh, this great accomplishment of opening a house museum. So you have a team in Armenia that's also working on this project. What, what are they doing? Is it design or is it graphics? Uh, they are doing a lot of things. They are uh, doing design, they are doing graphics, they are doing some technical part because we'll have very uh, interactive uh, technical solutions in the future museum. And also uh, they are doing research because uh, to find Saran's archive, to find Saran's items, I don't know, or some heritage, uh, it was very hard for us. Uh, and we collect from different sides of the world, from different countries. As Barlo Der Mugdarchan said already, we, uh, we cooperate with them also. We collect this all archive and we dig digitize this all. And now we are proud to announce that we have the biggest digitized archive of Saroyan. Wow, that's yeah, mm -hmm. we pretty collect impressive. from yeah, private uh, collectors, we, uh, we collect from them and uh, we, we did this all by our own uh, and during this process as I, uh, as I told uh, as we understand that it is very hard to do this project we uh, created our own house board and we include uh, in that board uh, different members from different sides of the world to help us uh, to do this project and to advise us because uh, we need some uh, persons who will help uh, to finalize Saran's uh, biography, Saran's uh, hiding corners because he's very famous, but he's uh, famous for uh, people as a writer. But he's also, he paints also, he is a play writer, and uh, he has different hidden corners which we investigate in during this process, during these two years. And as we know, Saran was in Armenia for a time. Mm -hmm. He had uh, four visits in Armenia. And the team, the team in Armenia tried to investigate these all visits with his own stories because he met different people in Armenia. Mm -hmm. He had a uh, very interesting time with them. And uh, there are a lot of people, uh, persons who live there in Armenia uh, who met Saryan in his time. And they, they started to tell us about their stories, about his visits. And we collect this old wow. material. And we have uh, very uh, clear, clearly this everything. Professor, how excited were you and members of the community when you heard that an organization was able to buy the Saroyan house back? Because we also heard that after the auction, someone else bought it, or from the bank, someone else bought it. So yeah. 
then you have this other person in, in possession of this valuable asset. Finally, when you heard that it was an organization in Armenia that bought it, what was going through your mind? Well, as, as you mentioned, it's, it was exciting, I think, for the community because everyone was following the progress of the, of the purchase of the home. And I think everyone wants to see that uh, the name of Saroyan is perpetuated as both a, a, a writer but also as an Armenian. And his works really do reflect on Armenian culture and identity and about being Armenian, and especially here in Fresno. So I think there was excitement, and uh, I think the excitement is growing. As we know, we're nearing the opening on mm -hmm. August 31st. Mm -hmm and people all over the world are gonna have the opportunity to travel to Fresno uh, to visit this house, which as was mentioned just a while ago, is gonna have the latest in uh, technological advances for museums, including a hologram of William Saroyan. I can't wait to see that, by the way. So, so this is gonna be a museum, so I, I know that you probably don't have the details yet. Someone asked me the other day, well, are they charging to get in and are they charging for different things? I said, you know what? let the thing open first and then uh -huh. we'll figure that stuff out. Uh, actually, uh, it was our founder's idea uh, and he decided to open this museum for free for everyone. Wow. And it will be fr uh, free for everyone do during this year and I think next year also. Uh, we have uh, staff there and yes, we will have staff also who we will hire. And this all will be donated by our founder. Uh, and after that, we'll see what happens. So the founder seems like a very generous person. We'd love to have him in Fresno and thank him because of this uh, great project. Sure, he will be here in the opening. Uh, he did different projects and he donated different in different projects in Armenia, not only in Armenia. And uh, actually, this is our first project, non-profit project in U.S. And he will be in the opening. He will be here, sure. So the 31st, August 31st, at Fresno State. Professor, tell us what's going on that day. So uh, the event is going to take place at the Satellite Student Union, which is a very large venue. It's kind of on the eastern side of the campus. It's going to open, the doors will open at 630. And there are plans to have some uh, sort of digital Saroyan uh, archives and an exhibition, actually. So it's going to be quite exciting. There's going to be music. There's going to be videos. Uh, there'll be an opportunity to hear for the, for the first time a couple of original William Saroyan uh, written songs. He wrote songs. Wow. And uh, a couple of performers are coming from Armenia to sing for the first time in public these, uh, these songs. Uh, as well as a very interesting uh, movie clip uh, that is a movie that's being made about the whole Saroyan uh, process of the museum. So uh, it's going to be a really exciting event. The doors will open at 6.30, as I said. It's free for everyone, but you need to register. So people need to go to the SaroyanHouse.com website, and there's a place you can just sign in, put your email, and just click it, and you'll get registered, because we really want to know how many people are going to come. Smart way to do it. Technology. It sounds like this museum is going to have a lot of technology, as we've talked about. And some people may say, no, Armenia can't be that technologically advanced that people in Armenia are working thousands of miles away on this. What do you have to say about that? I think we should invite all of them to Armenia to see <laughs> it. Uh, because uh, all technology uh, will be uh, set up by Armenian companies. It was important decision for us to work with Armenian companies. Architectural companies from Armenia, it's called Storaket. Uh, and also we have another partner who will work that in, with innovation uh, technologies. It's called, it's name called Interactive World. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will do it from Armenia and they did already a lot of jobs and we will finalize this everything with Armenian companies. And then we'll see, is it uh, innovative or not? Uh, actually, this museum will be the first interactive and innovative museum in Fresno region, Fresno wow. County region, because we did small research and we understand that uh, there isn't some other museum like this. We'll have interactive walls, we'll have interactive solutions, we'll have hologram, and we'll have a lot of stuff, uh, innovative uh, stuff. Uh, I think it is interesting for everybody because it is method to 
uh, get involvement from students from a young generation because it is interesting for them to learn something with, uh, I don't know, with new technologies, with entertainment. Mm -hmm. Walk us through the house. So I'm going to walk into a house and it, it's like a regular house. What am I going to yeah. see? Uh, from, uh, from outside, you will see just a regular house. Yeah, as, as and surprise when you yeah, get in. Yeah, the same it's exterior and everything the same because it is historical preservation for, for Fresno City. When you will enter the house, uh, at first you will see William Saron House Museum logo. Uh, then in the right side, there is a reception uh, where you will just sign up, uh, sign in your uh, entrance. And uh, behind of the reception in the back side, uh, there is souvenir corner. I will tell about you later. And then uh, in front of you, you will see uh, the main text, the main uh, description of William Saron House Museum. And when you will uh, enter the main exhibit hall, uh, uh, and in the right side, you will see his, fi uh, his films, uh, his uh, films by his stories, also documentaries uh, by William Saron, and a lot of stuff regarding movies and some other stuff with uh, TV screens. But uh, when you will enter, you will see, uh, when you will enter the first exhibit hall, you will see dark space. At first, it, it seems that there isn't something. When you will uh, come by walls, that uh, light will turn on, and you will see that same materials, which I told. And there is another wall. It's, uh, we called it interactive wall, because in this wall, we will show Sauron's life uh, with pictures, with photos. Uh, we will show his whole life uh, since he born, I don't know, and the beginning, and the end, sorry. Uh, and it will be dark again when you will uh, come, uh, when you will go to a uh, wall, the sensors will uh, fill your, uh, I don't know, when you are ca coming across the wall and the light will turn on and it will fix your figure and uh, the light uh, will walk with you in the <laughs> whole house. Mm, pretty and cool. You will, yeah, mm. and you will see everything with your uh, uh, with your light, with your figure's light. And uh, then uh, in front of that wall, that uh, picture wall, you will see his paintings. As we know, Saran uh, painted and he has a lot of graphics, a lot of watercolors, water more than 400. Wow. Uh, and the spa as the space is very small, we try to show many things and try to show many hidden things, uh, hidden corners of Saran. And uh, we have another wall where you will see uh, the titles of his published books uh, and there are different languages. Uh, as we uh, understand, his uh, books uh, was translated more than 37 languages and you will see the titles of these books. And uh, after this main exhibit hall, we will have a research corner, research room and we will have hologram room. Uh, in hologram room, we will see Saran's hologram walking, speaking, telling his stories. And in that uh, hologram room, we will recreate the same atmosphere was his uh, time uh, when he uh, was uh, there. We will recreate the same interior mm -hmm. and Saran will be there, Saran's hologram will be there. And also there is a research corner, as I said. Uh, in research corner, we will give chance to people, uh, scholars, individuals, children, students, to do small researches, uh, to read his books, uh, to get acquainted with our digitized archive. Uh, they will have chance to see what kind of archive we collect. And they uh, will do, I think, and I hope so, they will do small researches by Saran. Wow, that sounds a lot of interesting stuff. Souvenir corner, people can buy souvenirs? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, people can buy uh, souvenirs. We will have uh, interesting uh, design souvenirs. And also, as we know, Saran was a collector. He, co uh, he was collecting everything. Uh, <laughs> it, it, which possible, he collected everything. And uh, as we know, he uh, collected uh, stones. And we will have uh, 3D printed stones from different sides of the world the, with the same light, uh, look. And we will uh, print uh, 
different type of stones and we will sell it as a souvenir, as a part of his collection oh. with 3D printed uh, material. And uh, we will have a lot of stuff uh, cool. with uh, Sauron House Museum branding. What does this mean for Fresno, Professor Dermogadichin? You've been in this town for a long time. You've seen some very interesting things happen in the Armenian American community, whether it's the genocide monument. You know, we have different things in town. What does this do? Well, in the last few years, we've seen this kind of change in the, in the presence of the Armenians, meaning we have a higher profile. As you mentioned, the genocide monument, the 100th anniversary of the genocide. I think the Soroyan House Museum will add uh, a really a level of, of uh, sophistication to the community. And I'm talking about here the Fresno community, not just the Armenian community, because it's going to be something, a uh, point of pride for everyone living in this, uh, in this valley, in the city of Fresno, but also in the San Joaquin Valley. People are going to be excited. They want to you know, see this. They want to see new things. They want to learn about William Soroyan. I hope that it will also encourage uh, a new generation, young people, to explore on their own and learn about Soroyan. We have plenty of materials at Fresno State. The Fresno County Library downtown has a very large collection of works. So it'll be an opportunity for people all over the community to get involved in, in learning about uh, this great Armenian American writer. So you, you're gonna have staff stationed inside the house or where's the office? If I asked you, where's the Soroyan office? Uh, Yes, I think we will uh, answer that question. The Sauron office is, is in 2729 West Griffith Way, Fresno, <laughs> the same address. But uh, actually now we work in another space because uh, there is just small research corner. Uh, we didn't uh, have office at, at this moment. We work on workspace and Pacific South of, uh, building here enter in downtown. And in that case, I would like to thank Seva Khachaturian because we are working there for free. He just know that it is museum project and it is non-profit project and we work there without any money. Uh, to, uh, and uh, I would like to add something regarding that uh, what's the important part of this project. I think it is uh, some kind of bridge for Amer Armenians and Americans because, uh, as I said, uh, as our founder's wish was to do different projects in different corners of the world, he did that project not only for Armenians, because our purpose, uh, our uh, foundation's purpose to keep heritage, intellect, uh, intellectual heritage also, and international heritage. We did different projects in Armenia, but uh, it is important for not only Armenians to keep Saran's heritage, because as we know, he was a very famous writer in. 20th century, and his, his heritage is important not only for us. That's why we will open the doors of a uh, future museum, not uh, fixing that it is Armenian, I don't know, or it is for Armenian community. It is for everybody. Uh, it is for everybody, and we hope that it will uh, interest everybody to go there to learn about Sarayan. Professor, success. How do you define success in a project like this? Some will say the fact that the museum is even opening is success. How do you see it? There are lots of different types of success, but the goal is to open a, a house museum. Once that's been accomplished, achieved, and once people begin to come through, I think the success of the uh, museum will be there. I think there's a second part of it, which will be the long-term maintenance and success of the museum. I think it's going to require uh, input and stakeholders in, in, the, in the valley. We don't want to depend just on uh, a, a person that's done so much to get it going. We want to be able to say that we can also sustain this museum for several generations so that people learn about it. So I think it's, uh, it's a success. It will be a success um, just because, again, it's going to bring all of this attention once again to William Soroyan. You mentioned earlier, both of you, that this is not just for Armenian Americans. This is for the community in Fresno because Soroyan was from Fresno. So do you think that people interested in writing will come that are non-Armenian? For sure there's going to be people at Fresno State. We know the writing program is already interested in it. Uh, people will be inspired to know that, you know, look at it, look at William Soroyan's background, how he grew up in the conditions that he grew up in a very impoverished family and yet he went on to become a very successful writer. And it gives a, a model 
uh, something that people can look up to. It doesn't have to be Armenians. It could be any of the many different groups that live in Fresno uh, to know that with the proper type of work and the hard work, uh, they, can become, uh, they can also become successful. We're running out of time this week on the program. Avak, what do you want from us, the community in Fresno? What is it that we can do to help you? I think uh, the main thing you, uh, which I expect from community of Fresno to be involved in the project, to come to the event, opening event, and to visit our house museum in future. After opening ceremony, it will be open for everybody. Uh, the only main uh, thing that they uh, should do before the coming house museum, they should get appointment with, uh, in our website, saranhouse.com. They can just get appointment. Uh, it is required by Fresno City because it is in neighborhood. They just get uh, appointment and go and visit Sauron House Museum, and we will see. You will see very interesting stuff there. August thirty first, opening ceremony, Fresno State. What's going on there? Six thirty p.m. The doors will open at the Satellite Student Union. It's all free entrance. You just need to register. There's going to be an exhibit of uh, interactive. Saroyan materials. Uh, there'll be a brief movie. There's going to be uh, songs, presentations, the history of the making of the museum. It's just going to be a fun evening to celebrate uh, this great achievement. I'm excited as someone from Fresno, as also an Armenian American, I'm excited. So congratulations. Thank you to the organization, Fresno State. Thank you, but thank you to your organization. Be sure you spread the word back home in Armenia that we are very thankful that you've come and purchased this place, and we're thankful that you're turning it into a museum. Thanks. Thank you very much. Both of you, thank you for being on the program this week. Thank you. Thank you. That's all for this edition of the Central Valley Ledger. We're recording out of the beautiful CMAX Studios in downtown Fresno. You just heard about the William Soroyan House Museum. Opening of that museum is going to be August 31st at Fresno State. Google... Soroyan House Museum, and more information will come up. Thank you to the volunteer crew that made this production and every production possible. Our director is Paul Starcevich. Thank you to those listening to this program on KFSR 90.7 FM and to those watching on the CMAC channels, Comcast 93 and AT&T 99. We hope you enjoyed the program this week. Go out and take a look at the William Soroyan House Museum, located here in Fresno. Tune in next week to a new edition. KFSR and CMAC present the Central Valley Ledger every Sunday morning at 1130. For a complete program schedule, visit KFSR.org.